Okay, so there's an election this year in a couple of weeks in Sweden and you might want to know what political parties, what they actually do about uh, gun laws in Sweden. Who votes for what in parliament? So I'm going to tell you. This is from this year. Uh, it's not really that interesting what the political parties did back in the day, but historically they're all been shit and they're all been good. So can't really say much to that. Let's look at where they're standing right now. So this is from this year. So the Justice Committee came out with like a report. This is what we want you to vote for and Justice Committee is uh, proportional to the result of the last election. So it's basically what the political parties say, vote for this and vote for that. And then we can see what the political parties actually voted for. So let's jump to point four, which is what they voted for. So this is the European Union's Farms Directive. So this basically said that we should do a minimum implementation. So just so that we implement it, nothing more. And the Social Democrats with their friends, the Centre Party, the Communists, the Venstpartiet and the environmentalist assholes, they basically voted to do as much damage as possible to uh, legal gun owners like license for magazines and a bunch of stupid shit. A lot of times they try to implement it and they've been voted down. So, uh, yeah, so let's see what people voted. So this is for a minimum implementation and this is not the first time parliament voted for this. And this passed as far as I know. Let's see, did it pass? Yeah. It passed. So the Social Democrats voted against it. The Center Party voted against it. The Communists voted against it. And Environmentalists voted against it. Yeah. Let's go to the next one. A general overview over the gun laws to make it easier for gun owners, basically. And the uh, Justice Committee wanted this to pass. This was uh, basically the moderate party, the Christian Democrats, the liberals and the Swedish Democrats who wanted uh, wrote about some motions regarding this. So the Social Democrats voted against it, the Center Party voted against it, the Communists voted against it, the Environmentalists voted against it. Do you guys see a pattern now? So uh, the police are actively working against legal gun owners. Uh, basically to pad their statistics so they can get a legal gun owner and uh, claim that uh, a dangerous firearm is taken off the streets, right? And uh, this is so that uh, a new... Back in 2015, Parliament voted for uh, a new government agency, like uh, we have over 500 of them, so what's a new one, right? Uh, so uh, they voted for a new one to basically take care of hunting, wildlife and gun licensing. And this is just another one. The current government hasn't done shit since 2015. They don't care about what Parliament votes for. This is just doesn't doesn't matter if it passes in Parliament. If the government doesn't want to do anything, nothing will happen. A few moments later. Yeah, I forgot what I was talking about. So anyway, there's a bunch of shit like this, and it's always the same. It kind of depends on what the political parties that's not voting against this shit. What's closest to your political view. So if the moderate party, if there are other political things is your deal, that's fine. Vote for them. The Swedish Democrats, the same. The Christian Democrats or the liberals. It's going to be okay for gun rights if you pick any of those political parties that's actually voting for this. The best ones of the lot is the moderate party and the Swedish Democrats. Unfortunately, they have a poor track record of actually collaborating, but that's every political question. We'll see if this gets better after the election. We'll see if there's any change after the election. If it's more of the same shit. We'll see. Uh, I'll get back to that. I'll have to make a post-election video as well and what this could possibly mean for gun rights in Sweden. But yeah, uh, these two are probably, the moderates and the Swedish Democrats are probably the best political parties for this. If uh, gun laws is important for you. So there is that. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, it's pretty easy. It's pretty easy. 
don't vote for the socialists and uh, if you care about gun rights. <laughs> okay, have a nice day.